Shoab Sultan Konenai, born 11 July 1933, is one of the pioneers of rural development programs in Pakistan. As a CSP officer, he worked with the government of Pakistan for 25 years. Later on he served Geneva-based Aga Khan Foundation for 12 years, then UNICEF and UNT for 14 years. Since his retirement, he has been involved with the Rural Support Programs RSBS of Pakistan full-time and voluntary basis. Today, the Rural Support Programs have helped form 297,000 community organizations in 110 districts including two federally administered tribal areas of Pakistan. He has received the United Nations Environment Programme Global 500 Award in 1989, the Sitara Rhyme Cheers in 1990, the Ramon Maxese Award in 1992, the WWF Duke of Edinburgh Conservation Award in 1994, Man of the Year Rotary International Pakistan Gold Medal in 2005, Sitari Isa and Hillime shares by the President of Pakistan in 2007. In 2009 he was elected as Senior Ashoka Fellow. He has written numerous research papers and books. In 2009 he was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for Unleashing the Power and Potential of the Poor. In 2019 he was awarded Nishanim shares by the President of Pakistan. Shoaib Sultan Khan was born on 11 July 1933 in Moradabad, British India, a town now in Uttar Pradesh, India. His grandfather, Sultan Ahmad Beg, had won a coveted position in the State Civil Service of United Provinces in the days of the British Raj. He maintained a large household that embraced his children and grandchildren. Shoaib obtained his Master of Arts degree in English from Lucknow University and subsequently completed a public administration course at the University of Cambridge. He has a Bachelor of Laws degree from Peshawar University in addition to which he has also done academic work at Birmingham University and at Queen Elizabeth House, Oxford. He started his career as a lecturer in 1953, but joined the civil service of Pakistan in 1955 and remained in it till 1978, eventually rising through the posts of Deputy Director of Civil Service Academy. Deputy Commissioner Kohat and Peshawar, Commissioner of Karachi Division, Secretary Department of Health, Education and Social Welfare in the Government of North West Frontier Province and Director for the Pakistan Academy of Rural Development. His career in rural development started in 1959 when he came in contact with Dr. Akhtar Hamid Khan. Dr. Kahn asked him to follow three simple principles used in Germany by Friedrich Wilhelm Raiffeisen and get the oppressed peasants to organize and identify a leadership, and then acquire the capacity to acquire capital, have savings and upgrade human skills. That conceptual package revolutionized Germany. Even the Grameen Bank and the Bangladesh Rural Advancement Committee now just brought came out of this simple concept. Under Dr. Khan's guidance he established the Dawd's Eye pilot project of the Integrated Rural Development Programme in 1972 on the pattern of Camilla project. In 1978 he was deputed to Nagoya, Japan as a consultant to the United Nations Centre for Regional Development. As UNICEF consultant, he worked in Sri Lanka during 1979 and 1982 on the Maholi Ganga Development Project. In December 1982, the Aga Khan Foundation asked him to head the newly founded Aga Khan Rural Support Programme ACSP, a citizen sector organization that targets poverty stricken villages primarily in northern Pakistan, Gilgit, Baltistan, and Chitral, and engages their inhabitants in development programs. Akas was established with strong personal interest of His Highness the Aga Khan in its success. The same year Shoaib became the first and founding general manager of the newly established NGO. At the outer, Shoaib obtained commitment from the Aga Khan Foundation for long-term financial support of the program. The ACAS model developed after trial and error in collaboration with 100,000 mountain farmers. This model subverted the conventional model of social development 
which assumed that either central government or outside agencies would lift people out of poverty, and involved the local communities in the development initiative through an approach that was participatory rather than bureaucratic. The success of the ACS model was replicated in many countries and at the request of the United Nations Development Programme, he undertook South Asian Poverty Alleviation Programme SUPUP, setting up demonstration plots on its pattern in India, Maldives, Bangladesh, Nepal and Sri Lanka. Islamabad also started the National Rural Support Programme NRSB and the provincial programmes replicating the same model. By the mid-1980s Shoaib had been successful in convincing Sotej Aziz to lobby to set up the National Rural Support Programme. In 1987 Chief Minister of NWFP Abab Jahangir invited Shoaib Sultan to stop the Sahad Rural Support Programme. In 1993 Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif impressed with Shoaib Sultan's international recognition donated 500 million rupees to the National Rural Support Program. During the 1990s, when Sotaj Aziz was Finance Minister, Shoaib's interaction with him resulted in the establishment of the Pakistan Poverty Alleviation Fund. In 1997 he influenced Chief Minister of Punjab Shaiba Sharif to commit 500 million rupees for the Punjab Rural Support Program. When Shoaib came to India in 1994 as part of the UN project, Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao asked him to test the project in Andhra Pradesh, where it took off in three districts, Kurnal, Anantapur and Mabubnagar. At the end of the UN pilot, and Shoaib's suggestion, Mr. Chandrababu Naidu, then Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister, agreed to continue it. In this context, India launched a national program called National Rural Livelihood Mission based on the sup up principles of development to benefit over 300 million poor. At the behest of Rahul Gandhi, Choab started a project in Rajiv Gandhi Mahila Vikas Pariyajana or GMVB in his constituency in Uttar Pradesh on the same principles, which have proven that the model can help marginalized people overcome obstacles even in the most hierarchical social structural settings. Similarly in Andhra Pradesh, the program was started by the World Bank funding and it reached 50 million people and transformed their lives. In 2011, Sonia Gandhi directed the Indian Ministry of Rural Development to launch the National Rural Livelihood Mission NRLM on the pattern of the Andhra experience to mobilize 70 million households across the country by 2017. The Federal Government of India has now made it part of their central policy under the National Rural Livelihood Mission and 13 other states are following the Andhra Pradesh model. India's Rural Development Ministry has admitted that in India, the state has internalized that right-based development was not a charity, but a right. Based on the model educated by Shoaib, the Government of India annually allocates Indian RS 270 billion for rural support programs through community support organizations. Shoaib has served on the board of numerous organizations including, he is also a member of the advisory group of the World Bank-sponsored Community Development Common Fund. Member of the Government of Pakistan Advisory Committee on Millennium Development Goals and Chairman of the Pakistan Government's Vision 2030 Group and Just Society. In recognition of his services, he has been awarded the United Nations Environment Programme Global 500 Award in 1989. Sitarim Shears by the President of Pakistan in 1990. The Ramon Maxese Award by the President of Philippines in 1992 and the World Conservation Medal by the Duke of Edinburgh Prince Philip in 1994. The Rotary International Pakistan Awarded Man of the Year 2005 Gold Medal in 2006. Sitara I saw for earthquake work and hill lime shears on Pakistan Day in 2006 by the President of Pakistan. In 2009 he was elected a senior Ashoka Fellow. The list of nominees for the annual Nobel Peace Prize has always been a closely guarded secret over the last 50 years, with just a few names leaked to the public. One such nominee whose name slipped the net is Shoaib Sultan Khan. He was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 2009 for unleashing the power and potential of the poor. The prize eventually went to President Obama, 
which raised more than a few eyebrows, considering the nomination came just 12 days after he took office. The New York Times called the decision a stunning surprise, while less generous spectators accused the Nobel Committee of having political motivations, with President Obama confessing to Stephen Colbert on The Late Show that he did not know why he won the Nobel Prize. In March 2019, he was nominated to be a recipient of Nishnaim Shears, the highest civilian honor of Pakistan. On 23 March 2019, Government of Pakistan awarded him the Nishnaim Shears. In March 2019, he was nominated to be a recipient of Nishnaim Shears, the highest civilian honor of Pakistan. On 23 March 2019, Government of Pakistan awarded him the Nishnaim Shears.